right? All right, now, very important uh, poll in the chat. I need you to type, against my better judgment, I feel like this is the best way to do it. I want you to type Death You Sneck in the chat if you like the next area, and Death You Boat in the chat if you don't like the next area. We need a quick poll, gamers, gamer poll, because this is a very uh, split area. Some people love it, some people hate it. Hey, how's it going, Andy? Greetings from Ireland. Greetings from oh, no. Snow, We're Ohio. Here. Ah! How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. Ah! Dude, I'm starting to, uh, honestly, I'm really starting to see what you guys are talking about. Like, when we started the game, and everyone was like, this game just zooms in on the booba and the booty the whole game. I was like, nah, they do it at the start, but like, that's just Squaresoft being Squaresoft. As soon as it starts to get serious, they stop doing, dude, every single scene with Lulu, it's always the same camera angle. Like, I, I'm really starting to realize that I was just not realizing it before dude every single scene with lulu is the same as that camera angle it's kind of sad something in Guado Salam. <laughs> it's kinda, nice look, look at this what okay okay i'll go it's starting to get a little ridiculous i'm gonna be honest <laughs> also i love how the tutorial just blasts titus hey this is what happens if you don't press the button bam So, good luck on your journey. Bam. Um, I don't know how Titus dodges lightning bolts, I'm gonna be honest. Bit unrealistic. So, yeah, a lot of people, I saw a lot of Death View boats in the chat. I think a lot of people don't like this area. Uh, I saw someone else new in the chat too. Uh, Cloud, welcome. You're getting to the point where you quit. I can almost guarantee I'll, I would tell you where that is. Because 95% of people that tell me they quit this game, it's always the same boss that they quit on. Almost guaranteed. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of boats in the chat. I... Okay. Here's the thing. I'm really split on Thunder Planes because I like the, I like the gimmick of it being all Thunder enemies. And then also, the game just gave you the customize option, and just gave you a chest if you found it, with marbles in it. So, it's trying to teach you like, hey, if you customize your equipment, you can get thunderproof, and then this area is really easy, because everything does thunder damage. Uh, so I really like how they're using, like, but you don't get into a fight, and the game says, hey, do you have thunderproof? Like, it doesn't tell you, but it's a way of, like, showing you how customization can be good. So I really like that. Uh, the lightning bolt thing I hate. I think everyone hates it. Uh, it's okay, but first of all, the rewards for it are just ridiculous. Why do you have to dodge 200 lightning bolts? That's nonsense. Uh, even with the the uh, cheap spot, it's still annoying. Uh, B, I hate how... I know everyone is probably the same way. When the screen flashes, you have to hit X. Every time I get into a fight, I hit X. It's like, I hate it so much. And then I leave Thunder Plains, and I'm still hitting X. Because when the screen cracks, it kind of looks the same as the, the lightning bolt. So I'm always like, every time I get into a fight, I'm like, X! Oh, it's a fight. And then I get a lightning bolt thing, and I'm like, oh, is that a fight? And then I get hit by the lightning bolt. And I'm like, good! <laughs> it's like the most annoying thing. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm pretty mixed. The other thing I like about this is... Um, they finally start to implement some enemies that aren't just like, oh, Orin can one-shot this, like the Iron Giant. 
where it's kind of a, a unique fight where it's not just tailored to one character. So they're starting to get a little better with um, with the enemy selection. But really, this is just Riku area. Like, all these enemies you can steal lightning stuff from and then customize to your equipment. It's just such a great way to show off how good Riku is uh, without just coming out and telling you. So uh, I really, really like this area for, like, the mechanics of the game. But the area itself, the lightning bolts are annoying. It's a really long area. Other than the one cutscene that's really interesting in this area, the rest of it's kind of boring, so I don't know. I'm kind of... Also, Ixion, yeah, like, can't die in this area. Which, speaking of which, we should show Ixion off. We haven't done it yet. Actually, hey! I never noticed that. Did Yuna just say that because, like, it's this part of the game? That's so cool. I never even realized that. She did like a like a My name's Yuna. Pleased to meet you. My name is Yuna. I'm a horse. Uh she did like a little like uh when she came in. Like a little hesitation noise. I was kinda talking, so you might have to go back and listen to it again. Because I wasn't expecting her to do it. Uh but she did like a little hesitation, I'm not sure noise that she doesn't normally do, but it's because it's this part of the game where she's, you know, going through it, so. That's really neat. Never knew about that. Why do you have Null Shock? Are you not immune to electric? I guess you, I guess it's probably half. So Ixion's really cool. Uh, yeah, no, you absorb electric. Why do you have Null Shock? That's complete waste. Um, the thing with Ixion is he's really fast. That's pretty neat. Other than that, I guess it's not that exciting. His overdrive is really cool looking though. Also, this larva enemy that heals itself and strengthens itself is really cool. It can really goon you on a first playthrough if you're not paying attention. You can start doing like a thousand damage lightnings. Yo, what's going on, Tony? This is fun. The Vera Spark does more. I like how all the elementals look a bit different, even though they're like similar. The thunder element's like really tall. So it's not just, they didn't just recolor the same enemy, they did make it look a bit different. I know that's one of the biggest flacks that this game gets is a lot of the enemies are recolors, but they did at least change it a little bit. Son of a monkey. When there's a lightning bolt right after a fight, I never could. I did it again. I hit X. And then I'm going to get out of the fight, and then I'm going to miss it. Ooh. I hit the wrong button. I keep hitting triangle thinking it'll change characters, but it's defense. Magic break. You place too much trust in your magics. You place too much trust in your magics. What does he say magics? This isn't Final Fantasy XII. Yeah, I was I was actually wondering um, about that. I couldn't remember if that's when it gets upgraded or not. So I didn't say anything. But I think no problem. Pretty sure it's upgraded now. So we'll talk about that when we get out of this fight. Yeah, the bubbles are coming off of it, so 
Actually, we can talk about it because I can uh, I can look at it here. Oh, never mind. Oh, yep. So, after the scene with Chapu, the Brotherhood gets upgraded to Strength plus 5, Strength plus 10, Water Strike, and Sensor, which is really good. It also fits the, the game because its true potential is unlocked after talking to Chapu in the far plane. But the other thing that's cool is what area do you go to right after the far plane? You go to the thunder planes. What is thunder weak against? Water. So it's kind of cool how they do it right when it's actually really good to have water strike. So that's just kind of a nice, uh, nice bonus. Didn't heal as much because I magic broke him. See ya. Yeah. Aha! I was looking at chat, but I still dodged it. Your playlist at work plays the same 50 songs every day. I used to work at a bowling alley, and, uh... We used to play the same like bit. We had a, a DJ thing, but they wanted us to play in general the same songs all the time, whatever was popular. But every once in a while, I'd get full reign over it, and I'd play some like different music, and that was fun. Um, also, at night, when I because one of my jobs, I had to clean the whole bowling alley at night after it was closed. And uh, I usually got free reign over the, the stereo DJ thing while I was cleaning. So I'd just be jamming to some random songs while I was cleaning. Kamari turn! Oh yeah, I forgot. Kamari has steel now. Oh my god, Riku, look at Riku's HP. I forgot how low it starts. I knew it was low, but... 360. That is... Woo. Yeah, the Brotherhood is really good. And, uh... I usually keep it for a while. Gah! Every time! Oh yeah, I should talk about stealing now that we have steel. Well, hello there. But first, would you like to hear about this place? Or market. Pity. Ah, uh, no. Well, hello there. Very well. Let me tell you about the crossing. A long time ago, this place was a traveler's nightmare. It still is. Plains of lightning, plains of thunder. Those who cross are torn. Asunder. Or so they used to say. Victor. Then a man by the name of Bilgen appeared. Using Machina, he built tires that served as lightning rods across the plains. Finally, travelers were able to cross in safety. Bilgen was building that tire over there. When he was struck and killed by lightning. Yeah, sure, makes sense. We get smacked by lightning all the time, but... Bilgen was an owl bed. Our history books never mention him. I love how uh, Machen is like... He doesn't care about owl bed, Ronzo, whatever. Like, if it's history, he's telling. He's a good man. So stealing is amazing in this game. And whenever we play a game that has bad steel mechanics. Please don't make it rumble. I always talk about, oh, that's another line that Riku only says in this area. Um, I always talk about 10 as having my favorite steel mechanics. The way stealing works in this game is the first time you steal from an enemy, it like always works. And then after that, 
it progressively gets harder to steal from that specific enemy. But, every enemy has infinite items. You can steal from them forever. It just gets harder and harder to steal from them. I don't know if it ever gets to the point where it's like literally impossible, but uh, every time you steal it does get harder. And sometimes you also get less. Um, every enemy also has a rare steel table. The rare steel table is very, very rare, but there is a uh, ability that you can get to make it almost always give you the rare steel. So, uh, yeah, if you need to steal something in this game, it's very, it's very nice the way they do it. It's never frustrating because the first deal is almost always a guarantee, and then if you do need more, you can start trying to like steal more and more, or you can just finish the fight into another fight and steal. Um, and then the rare steal table, there's an item that lets you always get the rare items. So there's a way around that. You don't have to just keep stealing forever and never get it. So yeah, it's just a very, like, unfrustrating way of doing it, Got you covered. where if you want a lot, it still takes a bit, Sit back and watch. but if you just need one or two, it's free, and if you need the rare table, there's something later you can equip. Booyah. So it's just really, really nice how they do it. Hey, how's it going, Solidus? Good to see you, man. Dude, Yuna has so much MP already. Son of... How's it going, Alexis? How's it going, Tribal? Uh, I think he has an ability? I can't remember. I also like that Lancet is automatic. Woo-ha! Woo -ha! It always works. Yo, first day! Thank you for the nine months! Thank you very much for using your free Amazon Prime sub. So. I appreciate it. Booyah! Booyah! I'm on a roll! I'm on a roll. Get it? Because he uses balls. It's so funny. Dude, doing that... Good day. Doing that one Lulu overdrive made my arm hurt. <laughs> Is it true? I didn't even I do it that, that fast. Mr. Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Shut up, Shalinda. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. Yeah. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, really? So, I really don't like this. I don't know why he says that, because in the far plane, she says, I need to do what's good for Spira, which is kind of like hinting that he's just, she's gonna say yes. And Titus says, oh, we gotta go tell Seymour. So, like, even though he doesn't like it, it seems like he's supporting her in her decision. Which is good. But then here, it seems like he's not. So, like, did he change his mind? Or is he just jaded? Like, it's hard to say. I guess we can pick, though. I forgot about this. We can pick. Are we a jerk or no? Hey. It will not do to joke about a thing like that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just for fun there. Maybe I'm not supposed to take it seriously. Think of the 2,000 bits, Lord Shadow.
Have you ever got the weird moments when characters say they're high, you're dead, now enemy line, but the enemy didn't actually die? Yeah. Um, I don't know what causes that. There's some mechanic in the game that they forgot to take into account when doing the lines. And I forget exactly what it is. But there is a case where you can do less damage than the game thought you were going to do. And then they say the line, but they don't actually die. I, I think it's a, a specific mechanic that they forgot about. But I don't remember what it is. Let's end this. So, I just realized... Oh, lock up! It's always a funny, confusion animation. Just smacks the ball on the ground into his face. Uh, Cloud, thank you so much for the brand new sub, man. I appreciate it so much. Welcome to the crew. Uh, I just realized, so for April Fool's Day, Twitch changed PogChamp from having like the open mouth and being excited to having a closed mouth as like an April Fool's joke. And Moobot posts a bunch of PogChamps when someone subs. So now it just looks like Moobot is like uninterested in the fact that you sub. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, wow, you sub, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Cloud, I appreciate it, man. I saw someone else new, but maybe not. Maybe I need to get uh, the Aura spells, because Lulu can't one-shot things anymore. But I think she's just about to get them. My turn now! It's My turn now with... Uh, well, not actually, because I took a detour. If I hadn't taken this detour, I'd be at the Aura spells. I can get one of them. Fyra, that doesn't help. Where's Watura? There, I need two more Sphere of Levels to get Watura. Uh, also... Is this... Is this the cheat spot? I can't tell. I might have to go watch my video. Is it? I wanted to show off the cheat spot, but I don't remember exactly where it is. This is the original North American version, so there's only one version of the Sphere Grid. The original. Beep bop, beep bop, beep beep bop. Die, Lulu. So, for everyone that... Woo -ha! Woo -ha! For everyone that, uh... Struggled... Oh, shoot. Shoot, he's Blizzard. Struggled with the old... Thunder... Thing. Getting 200 Thunderbolts to try to get Lulu's ultimate weapon. Back in the day. Uh, there is a cheat spot that makes it a lot easier 
It's still annoying, it still takes forever, it's still really easy to screw up, but it's much, much easier. You can, you can um, check out my really old Final Fantasy X Platinum video for like a showing of how it works. But basically right here, if you walk back to the, the uh, thunder thing, and then walk forward to this crater, the lightning bolt always hits at the same time. About right when you're hitting the crater. See? So, if you put on a no encounters armor, you can get all 200 lightning bolts right there. And uh, it's always in the same spot. So as long as you don't screw up, you'll never get like, you'll never accidentally get one that's in like a really weird timing. So you just need to be able to hit the button at the same time 200 times in a row instead of doing it manually like out in the open where the lightning bolt can happen at any time. So it makes it way easier. It has to be 200 lightning bolt dodges in a row. So doing it without that trick is incredibly frustrating. With the, with the trick, it's much better. It's still annoying. It still takes forever. But especially if you miss one. Please fight with us. Uh, long, like deep into a combo. I think the worst I did was I missed one at like 150. Which is pretty terrible. But yeah, it makes it a lot better. I don't think I could do it without the cheat spot. Like, I could, but it would be so annoying. Because uh, sometimes there's like two right back to back that you're not expecting. Like that. <laughs> While I'm talking. Um, and yeah, I always get caught off guard. So yeah, this makes it way easier. You just walk back to the lightning rod and then forward, and it's always right when you hit the crater. The rewards aren't really that great, but for doing 200 in a row, you get an item for Lulu's ultimate weapon. And a lot of people like to get all the ultimate weapons for collection's sake. Uh, whenever I play the game casually, I don't bother getting Lulu's ultimate weapon, I just make one that's even better. Because you can make a weapon that's better than Lulu's ultimate weapon with the customization options. But, uh, yeah, some people like to collect them just to collect them. And, yeah, it's a pain. You're just a god then, Mav, because, yeah. Even with the trick, I think I screwed it up, like, three times, and one was at, like, 150. And, uh, I was a big upset. Titus does more damage to it than Orin does. Because of the water strike. Oh, nice. So Lulu just learned to Comrade. If we equip that, then her overdrive goes up when other people get hit. Which is a really good one. Because, uh... If you think about it technically, Stoic charges when you get hit. Comrade charges when allies get hit. Since there's two allies and only one of you, technically Comrade is better. Although I do not remember if it, if Stoic like charges more. Like I don't know if it, they might make Comrade charge less because it's more common. I'm not sure, but either way, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. I would still think it's comparable, though. Like, even if Comrade charged it half of what Stoic did, it would probably still charge more overall. You know what I mean? Like, as you go through fights, you're going to be charging more. So even though it's 50%, you probably end up being better in the end. Also, if I remember correctly, any attack that hits everyone 
charges even more. So, if they do an attack that hits everyone, you get double the charge, I think. Water ball. I really put that. Oh, I already had one. Actually, I like the switch hitter. I'm going to keep it. Just for fun. Uh, uh wait. Don't you already have... You already have Thunder Ward, right? Yeah, Lightning Ward. Let's give someone Lightning or Thunder Proof just for fun. How about... How about Tito? Actually... Let's keep the marbles. The lightning marbles. Let's do lightning ward. So there you go. With the stuff I stole from this area, I got lightning ward on Titus's armor. So now he's he's big win with water strike and lightning ward. Let's go in turbo. Holy moly, that crit! Stewie, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Tribal. And System Link, thank you for the nine months. Enjoy the double buster sword badge. Remember how much damage this would do to the gold element, given that it's water. And an overdrive. Much defense. I definitely would have smacked the larva though. Honestly, these enemies are really annoying without magic break. Magic break. Farewell. Is really great. No time to waste. Let's go. Lowers their heal, lowers their damage. Shocking fist. Son every time, dude. I did it again. I think I I think I did a run like that once when I was younger. Where I took everyone down different paths. It's hard on this one. It's a lot easier on the master grid. I think this works. <laughs> I did do a couple challenge runs to this game. It's one of my favorite games to challenge run back in the day. It's kind of kind of the game that got me into challenge running, honestly. Seven did too, but I wasn't as serious about my seven challenge runs. This game is the first game I really got serious about challenge running. I have a lot to thank this game for. Oh, I want to do, uh, do this. I got two. Stewie, they give the gifted sub. So my very first challenge run of this game was NSG, and then I did NSG and SNO, which is still one of my favorite challenge runs that I've ever done. It's still on YouTube if you want to check it out. The Unalaska fight in, spe uh, in specific was uh, quite ridiculous. One of my favorite challenge fights I've ever done, but I don't ever want to do it again. <laughs> Woo -ha! Woo -ha! Thanks 
Social Lord Pasta. Thanks, man. I'm hyped, too. It makes me happy when people get excited for the events that we throw. It makes me very happy, so I appreciate that. Whoa! Whoa! That was a close one! <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm, what's wrong? <laughs> You're giving me the creeps. Riku. Go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? <sighs> Good guy, Oren. Pretty please, just a few minutes. <laughs> I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. Pretty please. <laughs> I'm too young to die. You're mean, cruel. Your moms would be ashamed of you. <laughs> Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine, we rest. She's worse than the storm. <laughs> It's a great, great scene. I'm a little tired. Do you have a room available? Ah, Lady Summoner. Yes, just over that way. Thank you. Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. But, you know, we just won't worry about it. Whatever. <laughs> it's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. This is going to be some journey. Yes, is a jam. You not resting. Go away. Gamari <laughs> said go away. Gamari said go away. Gamari said, go away. Are you that scared? <laughs> yep. When I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <gasps> but he missed and hit me instead! It was a thunder spell! <laughs> Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. Ah! Hmm. Maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I like how Rin just gets it. He's like, oh, okay. Never mind. So he was gonna say Riku is Albed. Alright, it's time to take Riku down Lulu's path and teach her only lightning spells. Yuna looked preoccupied. It's the proper way. Was it because of Jiskel? I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. How goes your study of our language? Uh, terrible. I see. Well, it may not be essential for daily life. I wonder. Would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. 
Sir Auden. I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Remember what this says. Long ago, fiends known as Quactars roamed the Jose continent freely. They ran rampant, ravaging fields and tormenting travelers. Then Lord Gandalf appeared. Gandalf. A man later to become High Summoner, he scoured the continent for these Quactars and drove them to these plains. Once he gathered the Quactars together, Lord Gandalf linked the sign of Square, whereupon the Quactars turned to smoke and were absorbed to us by a stone. The sign of Square. Ooh. The Quactars were thus sealed into stone, faded to face lightning day and night. Until someone again links the square sign and releases the seal, they shall suffer within the stone for their deeds. Thus did Lord Gandalf bring relief to peoples all over Spira. He believed that the battle with sin was only the part of the summoner's greater mission. Very, uh... Subtle of you. You need to press square. <laughs> he was the lord of the quacks. No point asking. Mu Chi's in. No point asking. Mu Chi's in. It's an interesting sentence. All right. I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. Back in a second. Thank you all so much for being here today. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Look at this. <laughs> if only they knew. If only they knew what was going to happen. If only they knew <laughs> where it was going. <laughs> it's like the ultimate twist. The iceberg gets jumps up and joins them on the ship. <laughs> All right, let's get back. Let's get back to it. How do you do that? Like honestly? Yes. I implore. Ow. Oh. Uh, uh, I, I. Well, it's nothing really. I. I just. Uh, um. Uh, 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 I. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh. uh. Hey. So anyway. Wasn't that that Jisco uh, Guado guy? Uh, hmm. uh. The sphere is his will. It says, "Take care of my son." Not a lie. Huh. Yuna's a very good liar. His son, Seymour. Or deceiver, I should say. Well, I know one way to take care of him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? That runaway she did was so, like, dramatic. She, like, threw her hands up in the air. <laughs> what do you think you're up to? Yuna! Yuna was acting funny! Yes. So, so... Yeah! She'll tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos till then. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Hold your chocobos. Again, like Waka, 
Waka is such an interesting character to me because I just cannot decide if I agree with him or not. With, like, everything he does. So, like, there... I feel like... I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I feel like it's noble of him to be like, Yuna will tell us. Like, they know that something's up. They even discussed it two seconds ago. It's kind of noble of him to just be like, you know what, he'll tell... She'll tell us when she's ready. There's no need for us to, like, look into it. Which I feel like is good, especially since she's the summoner, like, you know. But on the other hand, for her benefit, like, to protect her as a guardian, I would understand the argument that, like, you should look into it in case something is amiss, you know, like, who knows, she could be under a spell or something, you know what I mean? So I don't know, I think if it were me, I would be on Waka's side, but I can understand the argument on the other end, you know what I mean? If you told me, like, like, once Titus sees the sphere, I feel like at that point it's like, okay, something's fishy, right? But, I don't know, it's... It's not cut and dry. Like most everything in this game, it's not cut and dry. I could see both sides of the argument. And that's what makes this game great. Everyone has their own opinion on everything. Yo, Witchy, think of the 19 months. And how's it going, Xeno? How's it going, Clem Hazard? Whatever happens, we're still Yuna's guardians. I know how you feel. Yeah, that was nice. Kamari won't even talk to me. We're not through the Thunder Plains yet, so be prepared, all right? She's not going to move unless we do something. If it's okay with Riku, shall we go? Is it? He did tell you Don't that. Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine. Stay here. All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Well, we did just meet you. Hey, are you listening? 